The use of digital check-in system is now a must at many places in Singapore. But while checking in via the safe entry system is required, authorities say checkouts aren't compulsory yet, but they are encouraged. Over 62,000 sites have implemented the system so far, up from just over 1,000 locations in late April. Geraldine Yap with more. From scanning QR codes to identity cards, this is the new normal for shopping. At this mall in Woodlands, staff are making sure people check in and check out via safe entry. But it's a different scene at other malls, with shoppers seen to leave without checking out. Those CNA spoke to say they're mostly used to the system, but that's provided they don't have their hands full. We do it all the time, so we're getting used to it. During peak hours, maybe there's some congestion, yeah, but more or less, uh, it's going smooth. Lah. It's just using the IC, so it's very simple. As long as you remember to bring your IC. I would say relatively inconvenient, because as you can see, I won't have uh, the chance to retrieve my phone or even activate my app, or even uh, take out my uh, identity card to do the scanning. The Smart Nation and Digital Government Office says checking out via safe entry is currently not compulsory. That's because some businesses may face a challenge to have staff at exit points monitoring checkouts. But it says businesses should place QR codes and barcode scanners prominently so that people are reminded when they exit. Workplaces are also required to use the safe entry system. And while some employers have been prompting staff to check in and out, it's hard to know if they're actually doing so. We probably need data from safe entry on an organisational basis in order for us to be able to track that. So I think that would be uh, the, the, probably the best way to do it. Lah. You know, give the uh, companies uh, the rights to the information so that you know, we will be able to tell whether our staff has actually checked out. A public health expert says safe entry provides a digital footprint on where someone has been and for how long. This helps in contact tracing efforts, which might be made complicated if people don't check out. If someone just clocks in but does not clock out, it means that the record for that person is incomplete. And we don't actually know whether that person was there for just five minutes or for five hours. Clearly, the scope for contact tracing changes drastically whether I'm looking for contacts within a five-minute window versus a five-hour window. But Dr. Teo stresses that safe entry can't replace the work of contact tracing personnel who rely on their experience to identify close contacts of confirmed cases. 